I just wanted to show you the difference. Now this is a 2016 Featherlight, so there's no, there's no uh, mistaking it. So it's Featherlight there. It's Featherlight there. I want to show you. Here is your, here's your steel. It bolts right here. That's all it does is bolt right there. And then you come right here. Your steel starts again right here. Get your tubing, steel tubing right here, and it stops right here. That is the steel that's in the neck of this trailer. Now I want you to compare that to what you see with the Winchester Star and see the difference. And you think, well, what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is if you get this trailer stuck, and I mean stuck, you can pull the necks out of them. I've seen it happen. If somebody comes in on the back end of this trailer and hits you, that neck, if you if you just have this little amount of steel here, from here to here, that neck can actually just fold up. But if you run that steel, which you can see over there on the other side where it ends, you run that all the way back and get back in here to your... Uh, to your braces here, run it all the way back into here, you've got a strong foundation to pull on this trailer. You're not just pulling on the neck of the trailer, you're actually, another way of thinking too, you're actually pulling on the box of this trailer with steel. That's the difference. Just compare with to the Winchester start, look at it. I mean, I'm not making any of this up. It is there. With here, it is not. And I'm not saying this is a bad trailer, that it will ever fail you, you know. Uh, but you could put it in a spot to where, well, you make up your own mind. I can tell you, when you look at it too, another, here's another big deal with this trailer. This trailer's got good, pretty smooth outside rolls here. But when you look inside this trailer, let's see. Here, let me show you this. You see the size of this post? This is the post of this trailer. Now this is a 16. This post is so small that they couldn't even put the fourth bolt in it. Look at it. I, I mean, I'm not making this up. Bolt here, bolt here. But the post is so small. Compare that to the Winchester Star. Here's another thing you want to compare. There's no rollers on this trailer at all. None. Nada. Compare that to the Winchester and the post here. I mean, compare that. There's, if you look at it, you think, oh my gosh, you know. But they're selling name, and I and I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. I was going to bring you back here on the back end of this so you can see this. Well, open up the slider. You can see on this side, you can see it's smooth, but you can see the ripples on the inside. It's clear this is that this this trailer is single walled. I mean, it's obviously you can see all the ripples and stuff in it. Compare this to the Winchester Star as well. The Winchester Star is boxed. You look on the outside, got your pretty smooth round ripples, and on the inside it is completely flat. So it can't be single walled if you're seeing the seeing the completely flat on the inside of the Winchester, where you can see these are single walled completely. There's the difference. There's the difference. Here's another difference in it. For this trailer here, they got one locker here in the middle. Winchester's got a locker high and a locker low. So you have double lockers on it as well. I mean, there's a difference in trailers, but you know, again, I'm not knocking this trailer. I'm just pointing out the differences. I didn't build it. In fact, I didn't build either one of them. But there is there is a huge difference in the in what you get underneath them. That's for sure. Anyway, this is Rick at Cowtown, USA, Cuba, Missouri, 573-885-6300, 573-885-6300. Thank you.